I don't have a nice intro. Best wishes from, best wishes from, best wishes from. <laughs> this video comes in three parts. Part one. I went to the Efteling on Monday, which is a theme park in the Netherlands, which is totally awesome because it's not only with roller coasters, but it's also with a fairy tale forest. And I just simply love fairy tales, so naturally, I also like fairy tale forests. It's, ah, oh, it makes me feel like a child again. It's so amazing. And I went into Python, which is a roller coaster that does. You know, the loopings, it's what we call, you know, when you go upside down. Yeah, and I hadn't been in one of those roller coasters where you go upside down for 12 years or something because when I was eight, I hit my head against the side of the roller coaster cart and since then I'm, I was too scared to actually go in a roller coaster that goes upside down and this time I did it, I was hyperventilating, I was about to cry and I didn't really like the experience but I'm very proud of myself that I actually went in a roller coaster that goes upside down in a looping and corkscrews and stuff oh my god, I went, I went upside down four times and, but I went, I... Ugh. The picture is just amazing. We didn't buy it, but my face was kind of like this. Yeah, I was totally freaked out. <laughs> and I bought a birthday calendar with fairy tales uh, that are in the fairy tale forest. And I also bought an Efteling history book. Book band fail, I know. But it's so amazing. It's like a dream come true. A fairy tale in the real world. <gasps> yeah, it's an amazing book. Part two, a super duper weird text message conversation I had with an unknown person. I'm going to reenact it. This will be me. And this will be the mystery person. Hi. Hi. May I know who you are because my phone doesn't recognize your number? No, you may not. Oh well, that's too bad. Yes, that really is too bad. But why so mysterious? I'm like Merlin's dragon. I have a lot of riddles. Do you have any more riddles for me? Yes. How does a dragon get a cell phone? But that's up to you. Well, I suppose that dragons also modernize. They can't just stay put in the dark ages. And that's where it ended. Weird or weird? Part 3. On Thursday I went to the World Press Photo Exhibition in Amsterdam, which was really impressive. I mean, after I cycled away from the church where the exhibition is, I was really appreciating the way I'm living. Not in a war zone, not with any natural disasters, uh, just, you know, my normal life in Amsterdam with, you know, the occasional trouble, but that's just so minor compared to everything that's happening to all those other people in the world. If you have the opportunity to go to one of those World Press photo exhibitions, then I would really recommend that you go because it's really impressive and it's amazing to see all those pictures and all the suffering actually that's happening in the world. But also, I mean, the pictures themselves are really, really beautiful. So yes, that's what I wanted to say. Anka, I'll see you tomorrow and as always... Best wishes!